I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're speaking with author Judith Vanderweg about her amazing book. It is called Rescued by God's Mercy. It tells a story. It illuminates her journey from despair to hope, revealing the profound mercy of God in her own life. It is a book that touched me and inspired me, and I think it is a book that will help you in your spiritual journey as well. And there it is. <laughs> and uh, we'd like to thank the folks at uh, Book Savvy International for helping us put Judith in the spotlight today. And we'd like to thank you at home for watching and ask you to support writers like her by subscribing to our channel. Judith, thank you so much for being our guest today. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Pleasure to have you. Tell us a little bit about your journey and why you decided to write this book. Well, my main purpose in writing it was that I wanted to show that God is merciful. God loves you and me. God loves, longs for a close personal relationship with each one of us. Part of your book and, is your interpretation uh, of the book of Isaiah. Tell us a little bit about that. Although I'd been a Christian since childhood, I felt God had abandoned me when I when my marriage died. Hmm. I'd been praying the last five years that God would heal our marriage, yet it ended in divorce after 17 years. In my confusion and anger and lack of trust in God, I got myself into more of a mess by getting involved with a drug addict and alcoholic who I thought was recovering. Hmm. But he was. I thought I could show Jesus to him and save him. One day I read this verse from Isaiah 42, 22. This is a people robbed and plundered, trapped in holes with no one to rescue. They've become a prey, a spoil with none to say restore. Well, when I heard that verse, I, I felt like God understood. Um, maybe he did care for me after all. I realized only God could help my grief and my turmoil. We started attending a church called Hope, which helped me heal spiritually. The way they prayed for me warmed my heart and helped me begin to trust God again. One of the members decided to be my big sister and recommended I go to a basic youth conference seminar. While there, I heard, when your heart breaks, at the things that break God's heart. That's true repentance. The talk showed me my hidden sinful attitudes. Besides the adultery, I was guilty of resentment, bitterness, selfishness, pride, and idolatry. My heart broke when I realized this. When I confessed them to God, he forgave me. The rest of my book shows how the biblical book of Isaiah was in instrumental in my going back to intimacy with my heavenly father he had rescued me by his mercy very very profound <laughs> very very important um your life has really been rescued by god's mercy don't you think yes yeah and i'm grateful <laughs> what's it been like building back after you had lost faith, after you had uh, gotten involved in a bad relationship? What's it been like and how did you rebuild your own your own life spiritually? Well, mainly by Bible study. It, it seemed like my heart just got so thirsty for God's word. And so I, um, I read a lot in the book of Isaiah and in the New Testament and uh, kept praying and kept hurting. I mean, I, it was a pain, painful several years. Mm. And, uh, the, but along, along the way, I would write down my feelings and then I would end with a prayer. And then I would turn these uh, prayers into poems and mm. songs. And so that comforted me and, and drew me closer to God when I could do that. How do you think readers can deepen their relationship with God? Well, everybody goes through trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. And I think that as they read about what I went through, I think they can probably relate to some degree. And as they read my the poems and songs that I've 
wrote, hopefully they can um, turn their own hearts toward God. Hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually then, actually, then later, I gathered together all my songs and poems and put them together in, in this book. It's hmm. called, let's see, there it is. Yep, it's yielded. called Songs and Poems from a Yielded Heart. Yeah. Did you write and that? A lot of, so many, yes. Did you write that first? Or did many of those that? songs and poems, I would say. I wrote Rescued by Mercy first. Hmm. And then um, when I noticed that I, that it seemed right to put a few songs and poems in Rescued by God's Mercy. Well, then I thought, why don't I just collect all of them and put them in another book? Hmm. Because I'd had several of them published in Christian periodicals, magazines, and yeah. so forth. So. Wonderful. What's it like writing? So I just gather. What's it like writing these? Does it feel like you're closer to God when you're writing them? Yes. It feels like I'm being honest with God. I'm. Hmm. I'm pouring out my heart to him, asking him to help me, uh, and then realizing he has helped me through the Bible, mainly. And uh, and then, you know, I end up feeling grateful and praising him. I can see that for sure. Now, tell me a little bit about um, your work as a writer. Are you writing any other books right now? You've written these two. That's a lot. But uh, are you working on anything else? Yes. I wrote a, a small book called The Runaway, a parable about how God um, feels about his rebellious children. I think God's heart breaks when the people he's created and he loves don't want anything to do with him. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. this is a parable. It's uh, talking about a mother and her daughter who keeps running away and how they feel. And um, So that's one little book I wrote. Yeah. And then I um, uh, made a compilation of, uh, well, through the years since I started writing in 1980, I've had somewhere around 300 uh, short manuscripts published. And so in this compilation, I gathered most, most of those short stories and articles together. It's called Blessed Through the Years, a compilation of short stories and articles. Amazing, amazing. I'm glad you're taking the time to write these books because mm -hmm. they're wonderful. If they're halfway as good as Rescued by God's Mercy, I know that they are absolutely terrific. I was inspired by it. You'll be inspired by it. Um, it is uh, a book that you will turn to as a devotional, if you will, which will help you during trial, uh, times of trial and times of tribulation as well. They're both, it is written by author Judith uh, Vanderweg, and it is a beautiful book and it is highly recommended. Judith, anything, have, you, anything you want to tell the audience before we leave you today? Well, I'm wondering if, do we have time for me to recite one of the poems? Absolutely. I'd love to hear that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's called Prayer of Confusion. And it's mm -hmm. pretty much the way I felt at the beginning of this journey. Sure. Will somebody tell me how to live? What is the secret? How do I give? How do I yield my heart? Will somebody tell me who I am? Which is the truth and which but a sham? And how did deception start? What are the answers? I need them now. Questions I can't figure out somehow. Am I wise or am I a fool? Am I kind or cruel? How do I listen and who will speak? I feel confused and amazingly weak. Lord, take control of my inner soul. Where I am lacking, please make me whole. Search me and make me true. For you are the one who gave me life. Tell me the secret. Thus end my strife. Teach me to live for you. And I think God answered that prayer. Yeah. He, he's taught me how to yeah. live for him. He's uh, he's brought me close to him. And for one thing, he's given me the assurance that I don't have to know the answers. 
to mm. all of life problems. I just need to know him. Exactly, exactly. It was a beautiful exactly. poem. Um, you know, betrayal is a terrible thing to have to deal with because it comes from people we trust. And when that trust is broken, yeah. our hearts are broken and it's very, very difficult. Um, right. And also what came to mind when you were reading your poem was the poem of God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, change the things <laughs> I cannot accept and the wisdom to know the difference. And mm -hmm. uh, like you said, you don't have to have all the answers, just the wisdom to know the difference between those things you can change and those mm -hmm. things you can't. Judith, thank yeah. you so much for being our guest today. I, I really enjoyed your reading and I really loved your book. Thank you very much. I enjoyed my, being here. I enjoyed having you. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.